is something about a fresh relaxer and a mold. I'm Jayla Marie. If you're new here, welcome. I'm going to be sharing my relaxer day routine and I need a relaxer so bad, guys. I cut my hair yesterday and I just ran out of time. I didn't have any time to go ahead and do the relaxer. So that's what we're going to do today. I think I got my shape good, how I like it. Here are my products I'm using. I have my gloves. I have my ORS olive oil, no lie, hair relaxer, my Vaseline, and then I have my mixing bowl along with my applicator brush. This is just for doing new growth and particularly short hair. So this is like a small portion. I just like using this. I've been using this for years. And oh, look, it came with this little freebie of edge control. This is what comes in a box. A relaxer comes in this little container here. The activator, your neutralizing shampoo, and your replenishing pack. So this is like the conditioner. You also get some gloves along with the instructions on how to use it. So I have my relaxer in my bowl and now I'm going to apply the activator. And I'm going to mix it up. So keep mixing it until you get nice and smooth. So it should look like this, nice and smooth with no lumps. So I'm gonna let my relaxer sit for about five minutes. While I'm waiting, I need to take out my earrings. I have to leave these in because these are new. Those have to stay for now. Now I'm just gonna apply my Vaseline. I wanna put this all over my forehead and my ears to protect them from any burns from the chemical. This is an important step, y'all. Make sure you're putting uh, Vaseline on your skin to protect it. When I do my relaxer, I like to start where my hair is the thickest. That way it allows me to have more processing time in the area. I'm gonna do my back last because my hair is a whole lot straighter in the back, but my top is very coarse and thick. So I always like to start at the top and then I do my edges last. So I wanna make sure I'm putting it on the new growth and not my scalp. So lightly just place it on the new growth. Now I have it all applied. I'm just gonna go in and start to smooth it out. And I'm gonna smooth it out where I applied it first. And sometimes you may have to apply more. All right, now I got it all nice and smooth. I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo it out. And I like that this shampoo has like a color indicator on it. So it lets you know if it's not all rinsed out, it'll be pink. So I like to wash as many times as I need until I don't see any more pink. Now that I have my hair shampooed and conditioned, I'm just gonna mold my hair and I'm using my olive oil wrapping mousse. I didn't do like my routine cut in between my relaxer. I just let it grow and it grew long. So I end up cutting off a lot of my hair. Um, so it's pretty short now. I took some off the top too. So it's trying to make it more like boxy at the top. 
that's why I love my short hair. I can play with it so much. Like when I first cut my hair off, I had like a mullet and then I had it grew it long and now I'm going from like a boxy look. More like that Toni Braxton style she had in the 90s. So I'm hoping after I mow my hair down, it turn out how I would like it to be. Just something about a fresh relaxer and a mold. Woo, it be sleek. Look at that. And I don't know if I'm gonna sit up on a dryer. I'm not a dryer girl. I get up under there sometimes, but most times I just let my hair air dry because I just, I don't like the dryer. But I may get up under there today because sometimes when I'm using this mousse, it does make my hair flaky if I don't sit up on a dry. Place it on the back and swoop it around. Like my first strip I put now, I don't like to tie it. I like to just use the moisture from my hair to lay it. And I do the same thing for the back. I'll take it and just lay it flat. Well, my third strip i'll just take it and make sure i go where it is covered and then i'm not it i'm gonna add one more this is my last strip i need to get some strips from the store So guys, I'm going to sit up on the dryer and I don't know if I'm going to curl my hair tonight. I may end up just curling it tomorrow. So uh, Y'all, I am so in love with the shape of my hair. I love how it turned out. It's giving that real 90s vibe that I was going for. And I just love how nice and stacked it is in the back. I don't know if you guys seen my short where I cut my hair using a razor comb. Make sure you guys check that out. I'll have that link too. It's just a safer option if you're not comfortable with using clippers because sometimes you can slip and baby you'll have a bald spot. So I like using razor combs. But yeah guys, I am loving how this relaxer turned out. I have no areas where um, my hair is still like poofy or anything like that. Everything is looking so cute and I am in love with it, y'all. So pretty. This gonna last me two weeks, girl. I am now on my way to work. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Whatever day and time you are watching this video, I hope this video was helpful for any of you guys who are relaxing your hair. Make sure you like this video and also comment down below. I know my channel has been making a shift from all the hair content i'm doing more of like lifestyle some of the things i love like thrifting hauls i'm planning on doing more vlogs as well so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because i don't want you to miss out on any more of my uploads turn on that post notification bell as well and i'll see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>